que fundamental definitive aspect in, in the whole entity. This is what begins his whole consciousness. But this is not the true infant Kabbalah Seba Hashemai. What's missing in this Kabbalah Seba Hashemai? I'm going to introduce what follows. What's missing in this Kabbalah Seba Hashemai is that there is not Kabbalah Seba Hashemai and he accepts the Yoko Heaven. There is imposition of the Yoko Heaven, but there is no acceptance. There is not a recipient. Um, in, in this in this uh, phase, in this level. Just as if you put a harness on a horse and the horse follows your direction, you don't call it, you cannot call it Kabbalah sir. The horse is not responding to the to the harness harness. In the whole the phenomenon of the horse going in the direction and so forth is not at all <coughs> due to the horse's appreciation of what he's doing. This is Kabbalah saying Malchus Shomayim, so to speak, of Ever Knani. As it says in the Posuk, and we learn it in the Kumich. Shulochan Peyma Hamer, Avram Avinus told his, his helpers, he came with him, the order. But Avram Avinus had to, to broke away from them with Yitzchuk to go to, to, to the Achaid. And he says, they, they, have no, they, they don't belong here. They will not know what's going on. And he says, Shulochan Peyma Hamer, you sit, you remain here, wait for us. Yamaha made together with that donkey. Rashi says, on this spot. Am Hadoy Mulhamir. It's a nation, even though they're human and they have Seichel, quote unquote. But that Seichel is only self serving, it's only identifying their own experiences. It's not a Seichel that delves into the reality itself. What, what is life about? That question doesn't even come up. Therefore, they're called Im HaChamayr, Am HaDoyim HaLachamayr. They also do what they're supposed to do. Just like Hamayr, that's what, what, what he's supposed to do. But he's not a participant. So the Rebbe says, this is not the true Im of Kabbalah Shema HaShema. In Kabbalah Shema HaShemayim, there, there, there are two parties. There's the Mach HaShemayim, and there is the one who is Makabali Mach HaShemayim, who appreciates this in Mach HaShemayim. But every Knani, there is not the recipient. Where then is the true Kabbalah Shema HaShemayim? The two Malkumot of Kabbalah Shemayim is the Nishom Yisrael. The Nishom Yisrael, they do have a rotsen atzim. They do value life and appreciate the experience of, the, the, of, 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 of what they observe. And they, and they want to delve further into what, what is it, what is it about? This is inherent in the Nishom Yisrael. Therefore, if there is a Kabbalah soil, even though it's Kabbalah soil, it's imposed on them, it's greater than they can understand with their soil. But, but the reason they're Kabbalah, the Kabbalah oil is because they, they're interested in this, in this Kabbalah soil. Their interest is piqued by, by seeing that something great over here. This is where the new Kabbalah soil, Marcus Shumayim, starts, begins, in earnest, in in in, in, in sort of amitis, in truth. Mm-hmm. 
and the Rebbe explained. <coughs> Let's start right in the beginning of the third line. Shumush Roshim Bibchinas Ak. Because the Shumush Israel are rooted in the Bechina of Ak, or the Mechad. Let us translate the words. I, I never did that, but let's just say the words. Adam Kadme. Adam Kadme. Adam means the human being. Not the human being as he materializes in the world, but the human being as he is in its in, in the inception of the human being. Kadme. The Kadme means that which begins the whole human process. Conceptualization of the other. If you say that it begins from the conceptualization, that is something that that enforces, brings into them the uniform other of a human being <coughs> from a different a, a different level completely. They didn't have they don't even have the option to be a human and not to be a human. They are such in the in the inception. All all of their thoughts. Everything that they judge, everything that they observe, has already a human quality to it. It's at bottom Kadmi. Kadmi means Odom that precedes entire creation. And the creation represents the Odom quality. The Odom quality that that is, in, is in, in conceptualized in the Sodom Kadmon. The whole creation is in order to reveal the Sodom Kadmon. The creation is not an animal, a basic creation, and then you, 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 you train it in, to act like a human being. That is not the creation of God. The creation is a divine creation, and the whole creation was conceptualized and in the final level, for the sake of other aspect. That this is where it began. This is the, the, the initial concept of, of creation. Contrary to the way it appears to us, first you have the inanimate object. And then you make a tape of it. Not so. Everything that created the world is in order to accommodate and be able to reveal and 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 uh, stru structure that which which would be a receptacle for the autumn for the autumn aspect. Everybody understands this. The concept of a table precedes the the, the facility to make it. That is important for us to understand. No one built a table because it's so planks of wood. Amen. I see some faces over there. I love you, morning. This is where the true principle and concept and value of Kabbalah Shema Chushamayim expresses itself. There is a lot, there's a living entity, an entity that appreciates life. And out of its appreciation of life, it submits to the higher authority. To the Mahal Shema. There's an interesting aspect that's described in the Torah. Uh, together with Rashi and the other one. Even though we're not talking about the Jews. 
Nonetheless, in those years, the Jewish people were not yet fully distinct from, from, the, from the rest of the world. There, there, were, there were people in the world that had a certain, a certain insight. Eventually, it was there, there was a clear, clear demarcation line. But initially, the Rebbe spoke to a lot of the, 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 the Goyish and, and the Bim. And this story that I'm referring to is a story we already discussed with people in, here in class of Hogar. Hogar, Hogar was Solus made. This Hogar, those of you who all know, Hogar was the Solus made. And Sora then gave her as a, as a, as a wife to Abraham because Abraham Sora didn't have any children. So Hogar was, uh, was a maiden here, uh, from, um, and she was a daughter of father. How did she become Sora's maid? Abram had to go down to Mitzrayim because of the, of the famine in Israel. So he came to Mitzrayim, and there, whatever happened, they would take, he would take him in prison, whatever it is. But Pearl Mamish, it was recognized, recognized by the Mitzvah that this is a very special woman. So Pari, who is the king, the emperor, he had his daughter. When Avron was leaving us, Pari said to Hogar, you better go and join them. You'll be a maid. It's preferable for you to be a maid in this home than to be a, 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 a princess in my home. So this was recognized right there in, in, in his body. So here she was a princess. He understood that there is a different value to, to being a princess. To be a maid service in a woman's home is much more being a, a, much more than being a princess in Paris. What what's in In Avram's home, yes, you're going to be washing dishes and washing floors, but you are going to be in a, in a divine environment. You're going to have a will, an appreciation of, 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 of what the world is about in your own life. Go well, wash the dishes. But there you will be. In my home, you're going to be sitting on the throne, but you're going to be an animal. So better go with it. <coughs> this is what the Rebbe is explaining to you. The truth in the Kabbalah Shema Hashemayim is not someone who is completely devoid of any appreciation. Rots. He has a full appreciation of life. And it's see the beauty in the world. But he bypasses it because he's looking for the will of the will, not for the reason for this. Where is this all coming from? It's an autumn coming. The real, the real thing. Not the, the, the human formulation, but the human concept. Rather the whole life. The rots and the rots. Seems that there is a rot in the rot. Therefore, there is. <coughs> so, in that type of human being who already appreciates human life, appreciates the beauty of the world, why is he giving it up? Why is he kabul oil mahashumai? He 
This Kabbalah Shemach Hashemayim is due to, a mag, to, to the source of where he comes from. Uh, what is this will? What is this will about? Where does it come from? This was not created. It's not, it did not develop by 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 experience in, by experience in the world. This is a divine gift. This is the divine source for the creation. The creation, as lowly and as, as simple as it is, is source in the divine thought and the divine will. Right the whole right. This is a divine will that you create. This will, not in the final world that was created, but the will to create the world, this is when the Shomish is so around with it. And therefore, Whatever they are, they are looking for where is the will in this, not what what is there. And the reason realize that the only way to relate to the will in this is to be to Kabbalah soil, to relate to the to the one who wills it, the Malchus Shemai. Not anything that I can conjure up, I can interpret on my own. The Mahashim and that which is imposed by the Mela himself, ah, that's where that's where the truth is. Okay, so again. The the Ak and other Khorani. At the end of the third line of Mishom, and from there, from Odom Kadmi, from the rival Choran, Nim Shemin Shemin Soil Kerzeh. This is when the Shemin Soil draw and give it. Receive this Koyach. What Koyach? The Bechinus Beat Lo Rotsi. A Koyach that requires that they writ Rotsi, even though they have an inherent Rotsi appreciation of life in the world, but they. But they and they will bottle this. This is not the real thing. What is the real thing is the source of this one. We need to say to what call Mashur it's in his body. To want only that which is Hashem's will, not the will as it manifests itself in the in, in the world. Which is what's called a mitis in the Kabbalah Shema Hashemayim. The true inyan. The true inyan, which means inyan means significance. Kabbalah Shema Hashemayim by the Ebed Kanani is what makes the Ebed Kanani into a human being. So he wouldn't act like a human being. This is not Mahashemayim. This is the word. Kabbalah means that to this Kabbalah sale, there is the Mahashemayim coming into focus. That's the Amit is in the Kabbalah The source of this, the Rots and the Rots. Okay, now we are at the end of the fourth line. Lita is called Mashu Lutin Yisrael. Zayinyam, this is the principle when the Pesach says, Ayich to Moshe, Moshe wrote down, Meitzo Ehem Lamaseh. Two things, Meitzo Ehem, Meitzo Ehem means they are coming forth from the where they came from, the Maseyam, and the journey where they're going. The Mitzoeyam, who, Mitzoeyam is Miloshin. It is rooted in the expression, Kumitzamai, that the source of water. The word Mokoy, Mitzoeyam means, that's the first two, Mokoy and Shomit The source of the Shomit 
not the Shomer Tzisrael after after the fact, but where did they come from? Who conceptualizes the Shomer Tzisrael? Kmei Shemish Roshi, the Adam Kadmon, because the Shomer Tzisrael are Mushrash. They conceptualize in the initial Adam Kadmon, the initial concept of Adam. This is when the Shomer Tzisrael were conceptualized. For Moshe, and thus Moshe Rabbi, the who is the of the Malka, who is the usher of the king. This is referring to the union from the joining of Israel and Akkadish Bona. Akkadish Bona is called the Chosan, and the Shomish Israel are called the Kala. Chosan and Kala, we know they have to have ushers. To separate union to Israel, but usher, he has to represent, they have to be represented. Moshe Rabbi is the screen of the Malka, he is represented over the king. And therefore, as such, he is now bringing Ma'amela, the Malko, to the to the Nishom In order to enable Nishom Yisrael to connect to this Melech, we have to bring to the Nishom Yisrael an aspect that enables them to connect to the Melech. Therefore, he should be Nishom Yisrael. Therefore, Moshe Rabbeinu brought forth, brought in, into the Shomit Soil, Mishor Shom Rom, from their own source of sources. But they were conceptualized. He brought it down into the Shomit Soil in, 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 in factual being. Kmei Shemushroshim Beodam Kadmon. The Shomit Soil, as they are, in the level where they are, Mushrosh, they conceptualized in Odom Kadmon. I'm sorry, I, I went back and I said, so the, the way they are in Atmos. Which is Pnimis, Bechina, Pchinas, Pnimis, Odomka. Which is the Pchina, Pnimis, Odomka. Okay, I'm looking at the clock, I have a moment, I want to explain what does it mean, Pnimis, Odomka. <coughs> Odom Kadmin, you already know, Odom Kadmin means the, the, the Odom aspect as it is in the Kadmin, as in the conceptualized level. When you say it conceptualizes an Odom, that's already means after conceptualization. What initiated this conceptualization? The initialization of this. This conceptualization is in the in the in the divine truth itself. Let's put put it in very simple terms. If God wants to create the world, it's a divine desire. It's a divine desire means that there is a divine significance to it. What was in this divine mm -hmm. desire to create the world? To have mountains and, and hills and ever climbing? What was the what was What's the, the, the buttress? What, what is the spirit behind this, this conceptualization? The behind the conceptualization is, is the Shomish soil. Because the Shomish soil will come down and they will represent this divine design in the world. An architect. Builds a home, builds a piece of evidence. Colin, an expert architect, would say, Build me this horse stall. <laughs> what do you want from me? This is not, I, I, have no, I have no understanding what you want. Colin, well, an architect, he wants to build a human palace, a palace for a king. Because that's what is is uh, the life force behind being an architect. Yes, I can build a a a a, 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 a dog canal, but that's not but that's not what I even started for. I started to build a palace that will 
identified the king as a king. <laughs> not to accommodate his sleeping and eating. But that you enter this palace, you will see right away this is the king's domain. This is my this is my specialty. This is my study for this is what what I developed. <laughs> Now, how do you want to go on the Manhattan city? The Empire State Building. Who can say the Empire State Building? It's a wild council. Did you dream of such a thing? Did you want to dream of it? 110 floors, and every floor is as, as a vestibule, as everything. You feed the grand door, whatever you want. So the roach, the initial roach and food, so the Mitzrayim, Primisak. Primisak means that which, which initiated and conceptualized the whole inner of us, <coughs> of Odom, Odom Kabbalah. What conceptualized Odom Kabbalah? That Atmos can also be expressed and brought down into the world. This is what conceptualized. And who is the one who is, by, by which many method, is this possible? Possible through the autumn quality. Because autumn is the one in that, can, that appreciates being, appreciates life, and yet he dedicates himself to that which he took the source of. That's a real, that's a real creation. <coughs> so Moshe Rabbeinu was able to reveal and bring down the Shomit Yisrael, Mishor Shom Kondrish of the Atmos in the Sol, the Shor Yisrael Shom Kondrish of the way they are conceptualized in Atmos in the Sol, which is the Pimisak. Which is the Pimis of Odin Kavu. Pimis of the Kavu means what is the the concept of Odin Kavu before it materialized. Which is representative of Atmos itself. Ramas Yikot means Tehra Pots Exact. The Shah, and then the Kutti Tehra, he explains. This is the next step. He explains the Haham Shoko Hila Masay Abyss, which means Amish Abin was Mamshik. Made so Ahem, he brought this source, the Wind Shomit Sol, and that's he brought it in, in Shomit here. Lamas, and what, what is it for? Lamasayah. In order to enable their journey. What is the journey? The journey is Shiyuchlu, Lehis Aleis, Milmato, Lamaino. They should be able to enable them to rise up from the bottom, from the world. In the where they're completely enabled to give an over, I'd recognize Al Kusum. Let's discuss for a moment Discuss it a little bit, but I want to do it again. The difference between Bechol Vodka, Bechol Nafshik, and Bechol Meichel is. A love of Hom Namshko is also a tremendous material. Hold it together whole heart, wholeheartedly, and hold Namshko with your whole life. A whole love of Hom Namshko is, is, is a total dedication. What's missing? Missing the dedication that comes because only from the way this new mind. You appreciate what you're doing. You experience, you, you, you draw to it. You, you, you know that you're Moshe Nefesh. Homo Isho is a different category. Homo Isho is where you and Hashem are one thing. 
You don't even recognize that you're doing it. Where there is no world in your, in your perception, there is only God. In the world, you know, I'm a world you live. It's a good way. I asked somebody the other day, I'm saying I don't know how, how much, I'm convinced of how much God knows that. I asked him, tell me, tell me, what would be the scenario? This is a person who grew up in the world of What would be the scenario that when a little bit to eat half a In a situation, he would say, ah, I can eat. He says, I'd rather die. I'd rather die. This is a man who said, it doesn't mean much to me. I can't, I can't, I'll be better than I don't know if I made the bracha. He did make the bracha. Thank you very much. He said, I'm in. Okay, now we can go. Well, what's the learning on Sunday? When? 820 is